really are better than one. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 crime-fighting duos on TV. Can I kick it down? Sorry, kitten. NYPD! For this list, we're looking at pairs of characters who fight crime. However, we've excluded duos that simply hunt down monsters. About that, when we find him, or if he finds us. Yeah? Well, I'm just saying he's not leaving us a whole lot of options. Yeah, I know. We gotta kill him. And couples where both members are police officers. We got an hour and a half till sunrise. And then what? Till over a day's hike out of here, we won't make it on foot by nightfall. As we already have a list of the top 10 buddy cops. You wanna see crazy? No, I've seen that movie, and spoiler alert, it ends with a closet full of my suits on fire. Number 10, Green Arrow and Arsenal, Arrow. Last year, you saved my life. And I don't mean from the guy who kidnapped me, I mean you. You saved me. You gave me purpose. This comic-inspired series introduces Oliver Queen, a billionaire who, after being marooned on an island for five years, decides to fight crime as a costumed vigilante with a bow and arrow, calling himself The Arrow. I've made my choice. It doesn't take long for this town hero to be noticed by another aspiring crime fighter, Roy Harper. You know something? What happened to him? You're the one who told me to be your eyes and ears on the streets, and you know what? That is not good enough for me anymore. Fine. After some bumps and bruises, which include an unfortunate incident where Arrow shoots Roy in the leg. Slow you down. Arrow eventually takes Roy on as a protege, training him in archery and providing him with a suit to wear as they fight crime together in Starling City. What did we find out? You know how you got the number of crime bosses in Starling City down to three? Well, same guy Warner, he wants to make it zero. Take out the competition. Number nine, the Lone Ranger and Tonto, the Lone Ranger. We're right into town. You can tell me the details on the way. Come on. This unlikely pair consists of the last living Texas Ranger and a local Native American. And their adventures together begin when Tonto saves the Lone Ranger. You're Tonto. That's right, me Tonto. Now me take care of you who is near death after an attack that leaves the rest of his posse dead. The Ranger and Tonto team up to bring justice to the gang that attacked him, as well as other bandits, robbers, and lawbreakers in the Old West. Whoever's behind these robberies is dangerous and very clever. We've got to find out who it is at any cost. The team is also responsible for a number of pop culture touchstones, including silver bullets, catchphrases like hi -Oh Silver, hi -Oh Silver, and Tonto's nickname for the Ranger, Kimosabe. What you learn, Kimosabe? Practically nothing, Tonto. Number eight, Temperance Bones Brennan and Seely Booth, Bones. What are you trying to do? Blackmail you. Brilliant, but socially awkward forensic anthropologist Temperance Brennan, or Bones, and U.S. Army vet Seely Booth prove the old adage that opposites attract. Blackmail a federal agent. Yes. They team up to solve murders by examining human remains. Mostly, you guessed it, Bones. Each character brings something different to the table, with Bones' expertise as a by-the-book anthropologist providing the brains, and FBI agent Booth's instincts and cop gut providing the brawn. You know, in the future, uh, maybe I should do the shooting. Why? I'm a good shot. Solving crime isn't the only thing they do well together, though. If we ever had a child like that. Oh, well, that's never, ever gonna happen, Wanda. Ever. <laughs> They are one TV couple that nails the classic will they or won't they dynamic. Do you still believe me? Yeah, of course I do. Number seven, Michael Knight and Kit, Knight Rider. That's okay, Devin. Kit and I'll figure it out on the way. Michael! See ya! This duo is unique in that one of its members is a car. Or to be more specific, a highly durable, tricked-out supercar with artificial intelligence voiced by William Daniels. I am the voice of Night Industry 2000's microprocessor, K-I-T-T -T for easy reference, a kit if you prefer. Best known for portraying Mr. Feeney on Boy Meets World. The other half of the pair is a former undercover police officer who's given a new identity, Michael Knight, and is played by David Hasselhoff. I'm Michael Knight. Oh, you're the one that called. Then you were serious about entering your car. Dead serious. Together, they are the first field agents of FLAG, a new and revolutionary organization devoted to fighting crime on the streets. 
Michael, what are you doing? Transferring all energy source systems to turbo. Number six, Green Hornet and Kato, the Green Hornet. Let's roll, Kato. This pair of costumed vigilantes is distinct from other duos on this list because the sidekick is actually quite a bit cooler than the hero. That isn't to say that the Green Hornet isn't impressive, but his partner Kato is a martial arts master played by the phenomenal Bruce Lee. While Kato utilizes physical skills, rich playboy Britt Reed, also known as the Green Hornet, uses guns and technology, like his car, the Black Beauty, to fight the criminal underworld, all while they pose as criminals themselves. Step on it, Kato. Number five, Olivia Dunham and Peter Bishop, Fringe. So either you come with me, or I let certain people know your whereabouts. The sci-fi series Fringe focuses on a division of the FBI devoted to exploring the strange side of science, including a parallel reality and its inhabitants. When you say fringe science, you mean pseudoscience. I suppose. Things like mind control, teleportation, astral projection. Heading up these investigations is Agent Olivia Dunham, who possesses some strange skills of her own, and Peter Bishop, a civilian with a sketchy past who's brought in because he happens to be the son of mad scientist Walter Bishop. I knew someone would come, eventually. Over the course of the series, they thwart a number of bizarre threats while growing closer to each other and uncovering mysteries about their own pasts. Conspiracy nuts are gonna have a field day. Number four, Richard Castle and Kate Beckett, Castle. Mr. Castle, you've got quite a rap sheet for a best-selling author. Disorderly conduct, uh, resisting arrest. Boys will be boys. Another odd couple pairing. This team features a detective and a writer of murder mysteries as they partner up to solve real life crimes. He didn't even check his calendar, but he was ready with an alibi. In my experience, innocent people do not prepare alibis. Castle is initially brought in when a copycat murderer begins to recreate the crimes from his novels. Plus, he had to get over his writer's block. Flowers for your grave. And this is how he found Marvin Fisk, right out of Hell Hath No Fury. Although Kate is unhappy about Castle's presence at first, obviously, as well as his decision to base a new character named Nikki Heat on her. You know I can't do that, Tom. You think I'm kidding around here, Detective Heat? No, I don't. Her animosity eventually turns to flirtation. You're not in this alone. I'm here. I know. With the dynamic between them becoming the driving force of the show. Beckett, what do you want? You. Number three, Sterling Archer and Lana Kane, Archer. Help me showcase my intellect. Discount? Hello, this is Fiacci. Uh, I think it's pronounced knockoff. <laughs> it's safe to say that dim-witted yet highly talented super spy Sterling Mallory Archer and his fellow agent and ex-girlfriend Lana Kane have a complicated relationship. Ow. Just once. Why can't you take Ow. anything seriously? The pair seems to constantly be somewhere between love and hate and often it seems to be both at the same time. Almost like they are in a kind of danger zone. Uh, how'd you get life insurance, Lana? Don't they know you're in the danger zone? However, as they are their agency's two best operatives, they are usually teamed up together on dangerous missions. And even at the worst of times, it's clear they truly care for each other. Lana, your eyes are amazing. Archer. I mean, not compared to your tits, but... Ow! Number two, Sherlock Holmes and John Watson, Sherlock. Yeah, where are we going? Crime scene. Next. This British crime drama updates Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's famous detective and his assistant by setting the stories in the present day. Oh, John, I envy you so much. You envy me. The show gives us modern versions of the brilliant Sherlock Holmes and war veteran Dr. John Watson, portrayed by Benedict Cumberbatch and Martin Freeman, respectively. It says you got problems with him. Maybe you liked his wife, maybe you don't like his drinking. How can you possibly know about the drinking? Shot in the dark, good one though. Holmes uses his wit and dazzling intellect to piece together all sorts of cases, but at times has difficulty relating to the human element, which is where Watson comes in. <laughs> Stop. So we can't giggle, it's a crime scene. Stop it. You're the one who shot him, don't I mean. Together, the pair can solve virtually any crime. What? Sorry? 
You heard me perfectly. I'm not saying it again. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Nobody, no crime. Gus. Nobody, no crime. He's just gonna keep Nobody, saying that, isn't he? I no believe crime. so, yes. But it's me. That is not an option. I have to face him, Craig. My luck. I can't keep running away. I won't. Lieutenant. I'm not asking for your permission. What are you investigating? We're with the Homicide and Serious Crimes Unit. What can you tell us about Roy? Not a thing until you tell me why you want to know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we don't want any of that, so if you have to say anything, use the quiet voice we practice. You mean this quiet voice? I'm not worthy. <laughs> Get up, Nolan. You have to deliver Grayson's box of evidence oh. to the feds. Everything you need is in the bottom drawer of your desk, including instructions on how to get it to Agent McGowan. Got it? Number one, Batman and Robin, Batman. We can't stop to worry about that now. Our task is to fight crime. There's a reason they're called the dynamic duo. Uh, Commissioner Gordon must wish the services of the uh, dynamic duo. Billionaire Bruce Wayne and his ward Dick Grayson became the costumed heroes Batman and Robin who protect Gotham City from a variety of supervillains, including Mr. Freeze, the Riddler, and Catwoman, while also doling out helpful tips, like a reminder to buckle your seatbelt. Robin, you haven't fastened your safety bat belt. This campy version of the Caped Crusader and the Boy Wonder redefined the characters, and their hokey dialogue and antics remain incredibly popular to this day. Unless I'm crazy about 10 layers of different colored silk. Square on the button, Robin. Do you agree with our list? Yes, Tano. Who's your favorite pair of crime fighters? For more outstanding top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.